This display known as the Nokia 5110 is very popular for Arduino projects and if you're starting with the display this video is for you. There are a few libraries that you can use for this display but so far the UAG library worked the best for me so that's where I'm going to focus. There are advantages about this display like that you can use it on the direct sunlight and has low power consumption but it's not perfect. For example, circles are shown more as ovals because the pixels are not perfectly square. But for text, lines and that kind of thing is perfectly fine. The display uses 5 I.O. pins and the other 3 are for power and the backlight. The datasheet says it's meant to use 3.3 volts for the power and logic, but it can handle 5 volts so for simplicity I always use that. I've seen small variants in different modules like the size, the intensity of the backlight and even one of them require 5 volts on the backlight pin when the rest needs to be connected to ground. I don't know how many other variants are but it's something that you need to be aware of. Anyway let's go through the code so you have some understanding of how to use it. There are a few examples on the library but I made my own sketch here that you can find on the description. I put a lot of comments everywhere so it should be clear what everything does. Here we include the library and create the display defining the pins. We are using the hardware SPI and the same pins the library has on the examples by default so I recommend you leave this as it is. By the way this is the driver of the display. I create a variable to show increasing numbers. By default if you show a number it's going to align to the left but I usually prefer to align the numbers to the right. But the problem is that most fonts available don't support the right alignment. I try all the fonts on the library and these are the ones that work for that. Here you can rotate the display. We are now in the loop and we increase the variable by 1 until it reaches 300. After that I usually convert the variable into a string not only to align the numbers to the right but also because you can add or remove decimals. Here you put the amount of digits and here the amount of decimals. It's going to print the screen all the time in the loop so you need to put everything you want to show on the display here. I print a text, a square, circle and so on. And in here we print the variable as it is without modifications so it's going to align to the left. And here we print the converted variable to have the right alignment. And that's it. I always use this sketch as a template for my projects when I'm going to use this display and I hope it's helpful for you too. I will keep doing a few other tutorials for other displays so stay tuned for that. See ya!